Hi, well today I have the pleasure of meeting for the first time Mary Pataki. Yes. Oh, good. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> From Butler Meals on Wheels. And Mary, I am so grateful for what you and your organization does. Thank you. Um, I have to start off by just saying thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> oh. So I know everybody kind of Meals on Wheels is probably very familiar, but just in case somebody out there doesn't know about Meals on Wheels, what is it? Well, Meals on Wheels provides hot, nutritious meals to people that are homebound, um, people that are unable to get out and about on their own, okay. um, having difficulty preparing meals. Um, there's no age requirement, no um, income requirement, um, just that you're homebound and um, in our delivery area. Okay, and you just need a little bit of help, right? You need some help. And that might be temporary, like from maybe a surgery or an illness or something like that? Correct. Or maybe it's on a more long-term basis, right? Correct. How does someone in that situation uh, apply? Um, you can just call oh, yourself. Okay. Um, if you're in the hospital, it might be a social worker giving us a call, a doctor's office, a neighbor, a friend, a loved one. Are there any, is there any paperwork to fill out? Um, we do it right over the phone. It's okay. a short application, typically takes about five minutes. And if you need the meal today or tomorrow, you're, that's when your meal gets started. Uh, yeah. And you said in the area that you are responsible for, what is that area? Um, so we're located in the city at St. Yes. Peter's Anglican Church on okay. Jefferson Street. And we do approximately an, out, an eight mile radius of that um, area. Of that area. We have 12 routes that go out um, from the church and um, cover that portion. Okay. So how many deliveries would you say your organization makes a, a day? Typically, we have nine, around 90 clients a day okay. um, that are receiving the hot meal. We also offer a sandwich meal. Okay. Um, some people need something for later in the day, sure. a smaller meal. Um, so we typically have about 45 or 50 uh, of the sandwich meals going out as well. Wow. Is all the pre uh, food prepared at the church you mentioned? It is, yes, okay. each day. Every day. So what time does this, what time does this start? In the morning. Um, so the cook and the assistant cook arrive at 8 a.m. Okay. And by 11.15, we have all the meals ready to go out the door. There's a pretty good system, it sounds it's like. It's very organized, but we have to be. Right. We do a lot of checks and double checks and oh, triple sure. checks. And, How yeah. about if somebody has a special dietary needs? Yeah, dietary restrictions, we do accommodate um, as best as we can. You know, you have diabetics and people sure. that have food allergies or maybe a low-sodium diet. Um, so we do substitute for those. Okay. And do you plan, how far in advance do you like plan the menu? I would think there would be a lot of planning to get 90 meals out by 11 a.m., <laughs> exactly. starting at 8 a.m. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and there are, I mean, we have somewhat of a rotating menu, but we don't hand that out because that can change at sure. any time. You, you can't get this item or that item or, you know, if something's seasonal, we want to try something different. Okay. Um, so, um, like I said, we have that standard uh, rotating menu, um, but it but it is a lot. You know, we have our, uh, like I said, the head cook, and um, she does some shopping for it as well. We like to get fresh veggies and fresh fruit in. And, right. Um, so it's, it's a lot, but it's so simple as well, you know, because it's just like cooking at home. Right. You know, you, you have your menu, you have your recipe, you, you know what you want to make, and it's thrown together and <laughs> and it's wonderful. And it's wonderful. And it's homemade. And it's homemade. And it's we homemade. like homemade. Now, Mary, something else that I was reading about, and it made me even think of my own parents, you know, I, because my parents lived a distance from me, and I was just, you know, how are they doing? How are they doing? Right? This is an opportunity for your group to kind of check also, besides delivering food, but to check just to make sure things are going okay. Right? Exactly. It is nice. Um, uh, typically, we would go into the people's homes and check on them. That way you carry the meal in. Uh, right now we're not doing that because of COVID. Right. Um, but we did get a grant for coolers. Um, so we're putting the meal in the cooler for the client. Um, we knock on the door, we ring the bell. Um, most times that person does come to the door so we at least see, see them, them at sure. the door. It's nicer out now. They're opening the door and we're chatting with them and whatnot. Um, if we don't have that contact with them or say we find yesterday's meal in the cooler, right. uh, we have a, an emergency contact for each of our clients. 
um, and if we have any concerns whatsoever, whatsoever um, they get a phone call. Okay. Uh, you know, please check on them. Um, get back to us with information needed. See, this is so, so much more than food. It <laughs> and it's maybe the only people our clients see all day. You right. Know? So it's that friendly face, and it's someone bringing you a hot meal. And um, so, it's, how long have you been involved? Uh, 29 years. 29 years. So yeah. you must love it, Mary. I love it. You love it. Yes. <laughs> I do. And anyone involved, is, that they feel the same way. And and I also learned that this has been going on here in our community in Butler for over 50 years, right? Yeah, we're in our 53rd year. 53rd year. Well, all right, Mary. So how can we help? Uh, donations. Donations. Um, as we all know right now, the cost of everything is going up. Yep. Um, paper supplies, food supplies, um, volunteering. We always need wonderful volunteers, and we have the best in Butler. And I know there's more out there. Sure, sure. <laughs> and hopefully so, by learning more through, about, through watching us, they're going to learn more. Yes. All right, so Meals on Wheels. Mary, is she wonderful? Yes. And we're now <laughs> going to help, and we're going to donate or volunteer. And again, Mary, thank you so much for what you do. I'm so thankful. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me today. Sure. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.